Hey guys, this is Justin at the Survivor Review, and today I have a Steelbook 2 unbox. This is the Best Buy exclusive Steelbook for the latest film in the action franchise that just keeps getting better with each installment. I'm of course talking about Mission Impossible Fallouts. This is the standard edition Best Buy Steelbook, because Best Buy did make two Steelbooks for this. A standard one and a 4K one. It's the same exact Steelbook, except whereas this one comes with a DVD copy, that one comes with the 4K disc instead. So, let's open this up and take a look inside. Alright, so you got the front right here. You got the back J card with all the info and stuff. Taking that off, you got the back artwork here. Just a really cool shot of just Tom Cruise hanging on the helicopter. Awesome, I really like that. You got the spine right there. Kind of weird that they had to put Tom Cruise's name on the spine. And even weirder, the more you look at it, it looks awkwardly paced on there because it doesn't like line up like it's on an angle if that makes any sense it's kind of weirdly angled compared to the rest of the title so that's weird but either way though and on the inside here they have this really cool booklet actually it's a, on the stunts which is really neat I mean, up there just talking about all the crazy stunts in this movie of which there are many so yeah it's, this, is, this is a worthwhile book actually it's pretty sick I like that they included that it's also on the regular release as well at least at Best Buy it is because I saw the sticker for this on the regular release when I was there at the store then of course you have the digital copy code and stuff on there and then you have the inside here so this is a three disc set pretty nice and you have the DVD disc right there then you have the first Blu-ray disc, which is the feature film with some bonus features. And then you have the second Blu-ray, which is just a bonus disc full of features. Pretty nice. I like that. I'm glad they did that. Then you have the inside art here, which is pretty sick, actually. It's just the shot of Tom Cruise jumping to the other building. You know, the infamous shot where he broke his ankle, which is awesome. I actually really like that image. I think it's just cool. I think that's perfect. I think it works really well and I like that a lot. Yeah, this is a really nice steelbook. Very glossy. Very glossy. No embossing or anything. It's completely flat. But it looks really nice. I actually like the white on here. I feel like when you have a white steelbook that's glossy, it always looks really nice. A white steelbook that's matte finish? Eh, kind of the same thing with just like a black steelbook that's matte finish. Doesn't quite work. But when you have the gloss on there and everything, it's really nice. And like, when I first saw they were going with like the teaser poster image for this, I was like, oh, okay, that's the best thing you can come up with. But it actually fits really well. Simple and effective. I actually think it's really cool. So yeah, I really like this steelbook. It's really nice. As for availability of it, um, I'm not quite sure how many there are because I got to my store, Rise It Open, and they had about five of these on shelf, you know, including this one. They had no copies of the 4K steelbook, which I'm like, oh crap, that must be very limited. But as I was checking out, I saw someone like with a cart full of Blu-rays just refilling like that area where the Mission Impossible one was. So they might have been putting it out there. So I'm not sure if one's going to be more limited than the other, like if the 4K is more limited than the regular one or not. But definitely, if you want to get the steelbook, i definitely say pick it up. Especially because like, it has a 4K one, so if you have 4K... That's perfect for you. But yeah, I really like this steelbook. It goes together nicely with my steelbook for the last movie, for Rogue Nation, which I also got. These go together pretty well, actually. They fit nice. They have the same kind of white kind of color scheme. The back image actually fits, like, perfectly together. Like, I actually think that's pretty perfect. So yeah, I mean, spines don't really line up at all, but whatever. So I'm really glad I get this to kind of go with this one. To add to my Mission Impossible collection, it's kind of all over the place. I have the fourth film on Blu-ray, the Best Buy exclusive edition that came with the bonus disc. Then I have the first three still on DVD. Been meaning to upgrade those to Blu-ray so I can have them all on Blu-ray. I mean, it's Mission Impossible. I want to see that in the best picture quality that I can. So my collection's all over the place, but I'm glad to have gotten the Steelbook. It's a really good Steelbook for an amazing movie. This is one of my favorite movies of the year, hands down. Probably one of the best action movies I've seen in recent times. Just incredible, and I can't wait to check this out. Especially because the Blu-ray does have the IMAX ratio, the shifting IMAX ratio. And I'm so glad they included that. I'm still bummed they didn't include it on the Ghost Protocol Blu-ray. So I'm glad they actually included it on this one. Because the IMAX stuff in this was incredible. Seeing this on the IMAX screen was mind-blowing. So yeah, let's take one more look at this one. You got the front there. Again, like, very simple artwork, but it actually works really well. And especially with the glossiness of this, it pulls it off very well. You got the back. I did notice while opening this up that there is a dent on the corner of my steelbook. Yeah, right there on the top. 
Which is kind of a bummer. I'm not sure if I'm going to try to like go exchange it for another one. I might, because I kind of was a bummer, especially for how nice the steelbook is. I might try to do that, but either way though, you got the spine right there. With the weirdly misaligned Tom Cruise <laughs> credit, kind of weird. And the inside art, which again, I really like this shot. I think it's really cool. So yeah, that's the Mission Impossible Fallout Best Buy exclusive steelbook. Again, there is the 4K one, which is the same exact steelbook, just with the 4K disc. But I'm glad they did a regular one. I'm just kind of even annoyed that a lot of these exclusives tend to be only 4K, which makes them even more pricier. So I'm, I have to give props to Paramount for putting together both a regular steelbook and a 4K to save me some money. Really appreciate that. And yeah, it's an awesome steelbook for a great movie that I just can't wait to rewatch. And that's about it for now, and until next time, I'll talk to you guys later.